Hey guys, this is my third rental car, a 2018 Chevrolet Equinox LT in gray. In gray. Which I picked up from Enterprise. This one has 32,000 miles on it. And it's all-wheel drive. I did not like this vehicle at all after picking it up. It's very slow. It's underpowered. And it uses a lot of cheap plastics. Now let's get to the end. I don't, and I really cannot stand the way it looks. I really hate it. Now let's get inside. This is the inside. Soft touch with some cheap plastics right here more cheap plastics and then there is some like soft touch dashboard this one's got cloth it's got no technology a very small backup camera but everything in this car is just so cheap It's got 32,000 miles. See just how it sounds? It's a very sad sounding motor. But look, cheap plastics. You see? And this is, it's got the cloth interior. This side is adjustable. But this is the vehicle in general. It's very slow, it is underpowered. This is the center console. Just look at this. This can't even stay. You can easily move this. And I'm not doing this on purpose. More here. They've got this soft touch here. But everything here is just plastics everywhere. And, I've, and another and my biggest complaint about I have about this car is every time I try to charge my phone here on the radio, ironically, is on all the time. When I try to charge my phone, it keeps saying, "Do you want to use Bluetooth?" I keep saying "disable," and then it keeps popping up, and I keep pressing "disable." Just even though I'm just charging my phone, so I can't charge my phone in this car, and I don't use it while I'm driving. I really hate it. And this is the glove box. Iowa DMV. I shouldn't show that, never mind. I should not show that. Never mind. One. This is the owner's manual because they have no idea what engine size this car is. One second. Where the hell is it? No, sorry, but where the heck is the engine size? This piece of crap. Hold on a second. Guns are rental. Okay. Alright. 
let me see if it's just getting to know it states the engine. And this is like the fourth car I've had that came with an owner's manual. Every car I've rented has never come with an owner's manual. Does anyone here comment down below what this engine is? Limited warranty and owner assistance. And I'm going to scroll through the owner's manual again. This one is the... I'm guessing either the 2.0 liter force, the 2 liter four cylinder, or the 1.5 four cylinder turbo. I'm not sure. It's either of these. I'm not really happy with it at all, this car. The last time I rented an Equinox was in 16 while my Jeep was being repaired. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry about the view here. Got to put this owner's manual in the glove box. It was in 2016, it was almost 2017, I believe, was when I rented it on my Jeep Grand Cherokee, and God, I hated this car. It was really bad on gas. God, I hated it. Let's now it's time for the walk around. Now we're going to the to do the hood. This is the engine. I think this looks like a 1.4. Cannot tell. But this is a gutless motor. This is the tip of the engine. 32,000. This is the to impress that at all. I'm not impressed with it at all. Now this is the back seat. Now 
least this one has pretty good leg room. And a lots of head room. The middle seat is nice, so this is a roomy vehicle. This is the only upside to this piece of junk. It's as bad as my the Ultima I had. This is it. This is the back. Run flat tire looks pretty decent for a small crossover, although I reserve a Durango and for them to give me this. This is the glove box. It's a math sized glove box. So, other than that, this is a pretty junky vehicle. A lot of headroom and legroom. But I not but I but I give this car this. Boo! There's a piece of junk. And this thing even beeps every time you close the door while the car is like it just goes beep 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 beep. It just just it says Wi-Fi connectivity. But other than that, and I really dislike the way this car looks. I don't like the way I think this car is ugly. The ugliest thing I've ever seen. And, and I don't really like most SUVs in Crosser, but this is the ugliest one of the pack. The ugliest one of the pack. So this is my review. Bye, guys.